somehow we have more lives now than when I started. How do I have three lives? Weird. Okay, what are we doing today? I have negative money. Curse of Variety. After an ally is placed, every other ally with the same name deals 0.5 damage to it. That's fine. Curse of Attention. Placed enemies gain one extra HP for each 100 gold or debt you have. That's not bad. Curse of Investment. After you lose a battle, your starting mana is permanently reduced by 25. That's rough if I do lose one. Same thing. Okay, so I said this one wasn't bad. Random event. Curse of Crab. After an enemy kills an ally, 20% chance the enemy creates a replica. You know what? We'll do that. We'll go Crab versus Crab. I like it. You're too expensive. You, though, you are interesting. Wrath of Lightning's too expensive. I don't like expensive stuff right now. Although, I start with a good amount of mana. But I can use that mana. Adapting wall. The interesting thing is, I could put good stuff onto this wall. I could put really good stuff onto this wall. I think I'm going to. Bam. We've already got a replica crab wall. Oh, it's going to move forward. Crap. I didn't actually want that. I wanted to put more stuff onto it. Whatever. That's what we're doing. Whatever you send against me, we're going to find out. After this takes damage. Okay. Propaganda Moil. After a non-leader cube takes damage, 1% chance for it to join your faction, die after one minute, and add to add, and to add a fake coin to your hand. Got it. That's pretty scary. Virus. After a poison cube deals damage, the victim also becomes poisoned for 5 HP per minute. After a cube is created, above it becomes poisoned. So, things that get put down on top of you become poisoned. And then they poison others. Altar of Fire, every two seconds, if there's an ally above, until it has less than zero HP, silently deal four damage to it and add a free spark to your hand. Interesting. Someday they're gonna put something down that does something with my crab. Maybe. Maybe they're not. I kind of want to get a plant warrior down, but I think before I do that, I do have to get a thorn hedge to block it. Or I get another adapting wall. Let's do that. I like the idea of the adapting wall, which is now going to have Dwarven Deck Collector. Interesting. Not ideal, but interesting. Growth. Okay. Charging laser. This gains 40 energy every minute, three times per second. If this has more than zero energy, create a laser beam in front and lose one energy. Three times per second. It's kind of a pain. And I don't want to copy the laser beam. 40 energy every minute. 
could just put down a duality laser. I think that's what I'm going to do. I could give the duality laser to this. That doesn't make much sense. Cool. Deck collector. Wait! I thought I was going to kill the deck collector. Crab is cheap. I have a bunch of crabs. With growth. Crabs are wild. Crabs are wild. Alright, they have artillery back here. Mortar. Propagation. Propagation could mess with me pretty bad, I think. Fake coin, before this moves in a block direction, instead randomly teleport diagonally in that direction. I have no idea what that means. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Plant warrior. I could copy this. I could copy this. Debt. When there's no more debt, this exiles itself. Charging. Melee. No, this is fine. That costs 40 mana. Cool. This should win me the game. As long as I don't die. To not die, I should put a healing container on it. On this. Or on anything else, really. Okay, I'm gonna put healing container down, but it could die, which would be bad. We're gonna copy that. This costs 40 mana. It did die. Hey, we win. I want cauterize just as like a safety thing while I'm doing things. Tunnel bore. Every two seconds moves forward. Look, my gold is positive. Oh, the rerolls stay more expensive forever. Every two seconds moves forward. Every 1.5 seconds deals four damage. After this kills a cube, move forward. And that costs 60 mana. It's too expensive. Fire breathing imbuement add-on. Every 0.7 seconds, if there is an enemy in one of the two positions in front, deal one damage to all cubes in those two positions. After this is placed, exile a random non-leader ally with the same name and lose this ability. Mint. Every five seconds, add a fake coin to your hand. Oh, so this just gives one mana. Is that true? Minus one cost. That's weird. What happens if you copy the fake coin into another fake coin and just keep doing that until its mana cost is really low? I think this is the one that I'm going to take. Shop key, consumable, only works outside of battles. Enter a shop and lose 10 gold. Okay. I think I was gonna go straight down the middle. Let's go do that. Two random cubes, which add abilities to other cubes, or a random perk for 30 gold. Perk. At the start of each battle, add a combination of the first two cubes in your hand to your hand with infinite uses. I'll pay 100 for that. Inventory. Can I change my hand? I would like to change. We'll be able to do that before the fight. Okay. Do you count as the... F no, you do not count. Okay. We're going to create a combination of two. Plant Warrior and Replicrab are my two. What about this? No. Plant Warrior, Replicrab. 
Adapting wall is cool. I like adapting wall. What was the one other? The one other. I don't remember. It was not this. It was not that. It was not this. It was the charging gun. Charging gun is kind of questionable. This one's just expensive. Oh. I don't know how I feel about that add-on. I like the idea of the growth thing. I like the idea of the mana devourer. It's just very expensive. Blue Moss, I don't really have room for. Blue Moss is interesting. Could go with Crazed Alchemist. Could you just put two copies of the same thing? Okay, I'm gonna put this gun because it can help me. Minus 70 money, so there are gonna be deck collectors. We did get a Super Crab. Costs 55 mana, and it's amazing. It is amazing. What else would I add to this? Just more growth? Another replica crab. Probably that. Duality laser. I think I'm going to put this down. So they have a platform in the sky, but that doesn't do much for them. Whoa! Why did this bush not generate a bush quick enough? This thing was way quicker because this charge is quicker than normal. Understood. That's okay, I can make more of those for cheap. What are you? Power Influx. After this is created, a random allied leader gains the following ability. Every second, generate one mana. You're gonna be at negative mana forever now? For a while. Ooh, I could copy that. Huh. It's expensive. It is expensive. I think it's worth copying. If I put that into a crab... Wait! Was I not able to copy that? Lame! I don't think I was able to copy that. You are a problem. Every two seconds deals 10 damage. You are not that bad of a problem, but a little bit. You have strength one. Pay the debt, please. You have growth and also poison. You have a lot of HP. I could copy the Obsidian Knight, but it costs 80 mana. Good, I was gonna say, will this Thornhood hedge come down in time? It won't kill that, but it could come close. Duality laser. I'll put this down. Hey, we already won. Crabs are crazy. Right? It has 2x everything. I wonder if it duplicated because it killed an enemy. Retali Retaliator Ward. After an allied leader takes damage, deal one damage to the culprit. That costs 50 mana. Soul Jar costs 9 mana. Vengeance 2. Before this dies, deal 2 damage to the cube, which killed this. After a cube is created above, give that cube Vengeance 1. It's not bad for 9 mana. Doesn't do much, but I can add that into other things. 
After another ally is created, if it's damaged, heal it for 1 HP. Otherwise, grant it 1 max HP. That's pretty useful. I'm going to take that. Consumable. Lose a life, but gain 60 gold. I do like giving up these lives so that I can open these chests for free. Right now, I'm not going to do that, but we'll think about it. Theater group. This is finally a different event. I've had the same event like three times. Don't worry, the blood is fake. Festive fireworks perk. Every minute, every ally creates a firework enemy in a random position. Fireworks explode and are immediately killed by their creator. Oh, wow. With the repli crabs, this could be broken. After this is created, moves upward five times, then is killed by its creator. Every minute. That one works really well with the crabs. Nasty Betrayal perk. After an ally is created, it deals three damage to any ally in front, then heals that cube for three HP. Creates a firework enemy in a random position. Okay. Surprising Appearance perk. After an ally is created, 50% chance for it to one second later exile itself and create a copy of itself in its place. One second later. Huh. That's good for things that do stuff on summon. Death monologue. Before an ally dies, set its HP to 10, and 10 seconds instantly happen for that ally, but their damage is reduced to zero. They can't move. They still die at the end. Gain 15 starting mana. That's also... Ah, oh, all of the above would be so good. I think it's the fireworks, but 15 starting mana is pretty good. I'm going to take fireworks. Let's go get this. Plant Reclamation. After an ally dies, if it costed more than 10 mana, gain 1 mana back. Ooh, that's good with that blue whatever vine thing. Spice Bowl. Generate X mana every 10 seconds, where X is how much spice you have. After you gain a perk, also gain one spice, but lose five starting max mana. Hmm. Generate one mana every 10 seconds. Or generate X mana. So generate more mana, but lose max mana. Selflessness. Before a non-leader ally takes more than zero damage, if your starting leader has more than 10 HP, that ally takes one less damage and your leader loses one HP. I think I'm going to take the plant reclamation, or I would reroll. Trying to get out of debt, because the debt collectors still scare me a bit. Stability grid seems better than this gun. Although it costs 40 mana. Still. Okay. Replica crap. Okay, I have to remember that that thing zooms forward. Force power plant. Before this takes damage, generate one mana. Wait a second. And this only costs five mana. Wait a second. Growth regen. Holy, this thing sounds amazing. Add an allied copy of the non-neutral cube below to your hand. Free placement. Growth. Gear. Every 10 seconds, accelerate all touching non-leader allies. Okay, that totally worked. That is the thing that I want most. But it costs 5 mana, which I don't have, and it's going to send me way into the negatives. Bam. You are amazing. I have growth 10 on this. Regen 5. And it's a Repli Crab. And it has HP. I'd like to duplicate this again. And just keep duplicating that. Force Power Plant. God, it's really good. Before this takes damage, we're about to gain some mana.
So that's cool. And now we have more crabs. And they're all going to have a little bit of regen and a little bit of growth. If only I could have put more of these so that I'd have more growth and more regen and more mana. Look at that. We're already almost out of the negatives. Oh, I can just copy these. They cost 60 mana, but still. Yep. Wasn't there a thing that made it so that... I don't know. After an ally is created, heal it, otherwise grant max HP. I can put this down. Sure. I was thinking some thought, but the replica crabs are too good. Alright, that one costs 60. These ones, the replica crabs, 4x, they just become better and better every generation. They're broken. They're completely broken. Look at the mana just shoot up. Wonder if the mana ever kills me. Just because it fills up too fast. Wandering Curse. After the cube below dies, it creates a wandering curse above a random ally of it, which has space above it. After this is created, the cube below gains five poison. Er, yeah, five poison. Hmm. So you put that on an enemy. Chain laser. Every 0.7 seconds, create a laser beam in front. Got it. That hurts enemies and allies. Healing pillar. Reroll costs 50. Burrowing. Wandering curse. Above a random ally. I don't understand that one. I'm going to take Healing Pillar just because it doesn't cost 100 mana. Although, my mana is not a big issue. Okay, we have 30. Kill Streak. After an ally kills, it gains, plus, it gains one kill streak, which lasts until 10 seconds without killing. Allies deal plus one damage for every three kill streak they have. Kind of cool. Start of each battle, among the cubes in your hand, which don't have zero HP, the cubes with the lowest HP gain two HP. Oh. That's not that good, but I guess it's okay. Every five seconds, create a shield in a random direction. It only costs 68. Random direction from the last shield created this way, or from your starting leader if no one, if there is no last one. Click on this outside of battles to enter a forge and upgrade perks unless you have no upgradable perks. Huh. After each battle, encounter a random event. After each battle? That sounds kind of cool. After this is created, apply one poison to all enemies. Huh. Disease. Every 30 seconds, move upward and 50% chance to create a plant eye below. Otherwise, create a plant stem below. Plant eye. Every 20 seconds, deal one damage to a random enemy. Growth. None of these actually sound that appealing. I think we can just leave. I'm happy. Curse of Loans. After you gain this curse, also gain 50 gold. At the start of each battle, lose gold equal to twice the current difficulty. No. Curse of Wages. At the start... Wait. Start of each battle. Yeah. At the start of each battle, lose one gold for every cube in your hand. It's not as bad as this one. Curse of Dragons. Start... They can have dragon eggs. Sure. Victory. Accept victory. Turn back. Challenge the universe. Try to compete, complete one of many impossible challenges for no reward. Does it still count as a win? 
don't remember. They're not that hard for two of them. One of them is very hard. Do I think that I could beat a new one? Let's go try it. The dream. If an enemy would die, it does not instead. That one breaks my brain. I have not beat that. Enemies gain four times as much positive mana. We could play that. Every 10 seconds, every enemy leader's HP is set to 1,000. You know what? Let's go do that. Start. You. 114 HP. We can deal with that. Can we deal with that? So, Replicrab, I need to get you started, but I want to put more stuff onto it. This costs 40. This costs 40. I guess we just get Replic Crab out into the world. What are they gonna do? They have pain goo. Okay, get it out into the world. Pain goo's pretty good against Replic Crab. Or I mean my Replic Crab is pretty good against Pain Goo, I think. Actually. We're just going to up the chances that you duplicate yourself. I'll go into negative mana for that. What is this thing? Eternal wall. Okay. 200 HP. My crabs are going wild. Too bad this thing had 1,000 HP and it's going to keep going to 1,000. And my crabs don't, like, become that much stronger. And they're going to get killed by this. So I do have to get, like, a super crab out into the world to do that. We're going to have to figure things out. Eternal Wall. Could get Duality Beam, but that doesn't help much. Common Antil doesn't help much. I do have to copy one of these. Which one of you is the most super? Two times, two times. And which one costs the least mana? They all cost the same. I don't know if their current HP matters. 28. Okay, let's copy the one with 28. So that costs 65. Good to know. We're just gonna get a super enough crap that it doesn't even matter that this enemy gets 1000 HP all the time. I think I would put down another of these. But do I need a wall to stop it? I think I do. Pain goo. Pain goo is the dream. I kind of need that pain goo to become stronger. If I could put some healing onto this, that would help. I could do that. Hmm. Not really. Okay, you still only cost 65. 65. Oh, I didn't put this onto it. Right. I knew that. So now the problem is, once I put this down, I can't really copy this one now. Now it just costs 130, which is very expensive, but it has a lot of growth. And it has three attacks. What are these? Northern Sun. After this is created, add a random cube with Ascension ability to your hand, which isn't already in your hand. Okay, and they have Eternal Walls. Warrior Ascension. First cube, which doesn't have melee, gains melee. I could copy Pain Goo. After this takes damage, and this has more than zero max HP, this loses one max HP and creates a copy of this above this. Before this dies, if the killer's another cube. Okay, so I think I am going to do that. We'll put Pain Goo into you. Sure. 
That'll send me into the negatives. Is there anything else that I'd rather have? Hive Mind Ascension. Every minute, generate one mana. After this is created, the first cube in your hand, which doesn't already have leader, gains leader. Oh no! You're gonna set everything to be a leader! Eternal Wall is a leader! Oh no! We have a problem. Houston, we have a problem. Players without leader lose battle. This costs 70 mana. Hungry Ascension. Ooh, Hungry would be good. So is Pain Goo. Does it? Oh, it has the 1000 HP. I think that works. It's gonna send me way into the negatives, but it's totally worth it. This crab has 1121 HP out of 132. It's also poisoned, but it also has growth, and it has regen to make up for the poison. Just wait until I put Pengu on it. What are these? Disease. Wait! Am I poisoned? I am poisoned. Okay, I could put regen onto my leader. Ah, but if I do that, I end up at negative a bunch of mana. I could put growth onto this. Do I think it would live long enough? I don't. Pandora's. Okay, we're gonna put a healing container down. I need to get Plant Warrior. I could put this to give it growth. That costs 55 mana. I think it's better to just... 45. Leader. Charging growth. Does something else have growth for cheaper? You have growth. You're also a leader. You have growth too. That costs 30. Do I want a bunch of ants? Sure. Why did that not burrow? Because it does not burrow. I need that. Okay, we're gonna copy that. Growth to 33 mana. That goes onto this. This will heal. It also explodes, but the whole thing was I wanted to heal this one. Oh no, it's taking off. Why are you taking off? Climbing. Charging. What have I done? You lost your main, max HP, or your current HP. I need to put Pango onto this. This anthill is gonna die. But it's gonna explode in fun ways. Okay, Pango is not that expensive, but it's gonna send me way into the negatives. 420 mana. We might break the game right now. Where's their leader? Do they even have a leader? They do, it's the Eternal Wall, huh? Misery Ascension. Bam, victory. We win because I have a 24X crazy Ascension leader, who knows? Charging Melly growth, yeah. Victory. Accept victory. Turn back. Loop to another map. Now we'll just end the run. Call it good. Nightmares 3 plus 1. Level 23. We have unlocked three new cubes. I can't see what they are yet. We have unlocked 10 new perks. We have unlocked three more cubes. A new ant. A super maze ant. This thing and this thing, okay? It looks like... Oh, we're still short. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. So next time, we're going to be able to do Nightmare 4. For now, that does it for this episode. 
Thanks for watching.